if a pilot is, uh, is flying around the curve of the Earth, then it sh he should be dipping the nose down um, every, every five minutes. He should be dipping the nose down to, to stay around the curve. The thing that really um, uh, got me interested was, as you say, the gyroscope. In, in a plane, there is a, um, an artificial horizon, okay, and it's based on a gyroscope. And if you spin a gyroscope um, on a surface, it will want to stay upright. You can twist and tilt the surface as much as you like, the gyroscope will stay upright. So, if a plane has a gyroscope, and it starts um, following the curve of the Earth, mm. the gyroscope would stay upright, which mm. means your, the uh, um, artificial horizon will start to, to roll backwards. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't. Mm -hmm. That's absolute proof that a plane flies over a flat surface rather than a curved one. Because um, I asked the pilot um, on my last flight, uh, you know, does, do you ever notice the, the, auto, um, the artificial horizon? Uh, rolling backwards. He said, no, no, but the artificial horizon has complex electronics in it to, to make sure it knows where it is on the earth and it compensates. But I went to um, the manufacturer of the artificial horizon and they confirmed to me that it's completely mechanical, nothing electronic in it at whatsoever. So it's, it's literally just a gyroscope that can freely move. So that right there is proof to me that um, you know, planes fly over a plane. So my question to him would be, why is there land at the equator? Because um, water will move more readily than rock. So if the earth is spinning, the water will be um, collected at the equator. I mean, if you spin a wet um, tennis ball, okay, you spin a wet tennis ball, the water shoots off mm -hmm. at the equator, essentially. So all the water will be g um, gathered around the equator. So why is there land at the equator? Doesn't make any sense. Um, the other thing that's uh, about the spinning Earth is looking at the stars. Now, um, directly above the axis of spin is the pole star, Polaris, okay? Um, directly over the North Pole. And um, we're told that the reason that all the stars spin around the, uh, the, the North Star is because the, the Earth is spinning at a thousand miles an hour. Okay, seems to make sense because if you put a long exposure camera uh, pointing at the North Star, you'll see um, the stars will make perfect circles around, perfect star trails. The only problem is the, um, the Earth is also orbiting the Sun at 67,000 miles an hour. Okay, the Sun is 
moving, dragging the Earth and all the, all the planets up that way or that way um, at 600,000 miles an hour. So why do we see perfect circles? You know, because that's the slowest speed, <laughs> that's um, uh, slowest motion in that, in that mix. And, and yet the, the Earth is moving 67 times faster that way and 600 times faster that way. So you should see the stars do all sorts of strange mo um, motions, but you don't. You only see them make these perfect circles. That tells me that it's the stars that are moving, not the Earth. 